How long have you been in China, Daisy? I've been here for over half a year. You really are an amazing coach. I think you'll do really well here in China. Working in China is so fast-paced. This is the second place I've worked. I just interviewed here yesterday, and they've already put me to work. You just interviewed here yesterday. Did you renew your work permit and work type residence permit? My last company already helped me handle that when I started there. They are still valid for about a year. But the information on your documents is from your previous company. If you haven't applied to update your work permit and work type residence permit, you might get in trouble. Really? What should I do next? Let me take you to ask the officers at the Community Immigration Service Center. Officer Xiao Wen, this is Mr. Wang, the manager at the sports center, and this is Coach Daisy. Hello. Dallas told me about the situation on the phone. According to the Chinese law, the employer of the foreign employee in China shall be the same as specified in their work permit. When the foreigner switches employers within the area designated by the certificate office, but stays in a job of the same nature, the change must be approved by the original certificate office and recorded in their work permit. The foreign employee should. Within 10 days after obtaining the approval for extension of their term of employment in China, or the change of their employment location, or their employer go through formalities for the extension or change of their residence permit at the local public security organs. I'm so sorry. We checked Daisy's work permit and work type resident permit, and they were still valid for more than a year. But we didn't realize that we need to take extra steps to renew these documents. Now, what should we do? I think you must report to the Public Security Bureau and deal with the penalties. According to the Exit and Entry Administration Law of the People's Republic of China, foreigners who work in China illegally shall be fined not less than RMB 5,000, but not more than RMB 20,000 yuan. Where circumstances are serious, they shall be detained for not less than five days, but not more than fifteen days, and shall also be fined not less than RMB five thousand yuan, but not more than RMB twenty thousand yuan. Individuals or entities that illegally employ foreigners shall be fined RMB ten thousand yuan for each illegally employed foreigner, with a cap of RMB one hundred thousand yuan in total. And the illegal gains, if any, shall be confiscated. Considering that you voluntarily disclosed the situation, and the overdue time is relatively short, I believe the Public Security Bureau will consider mitigating the punishment. I never thought this would happen. After accepting the penalty, if you want to continue working in this company, you need to go to the Labor Administration authorities. And the Exit and Entry Administration of Public Security Oregon to handle the change procedures for the work permit and work type residence permit. We will get started on Daisy's paperwork after taking care of the penalties. If you have any questions, you can also call the one two three six seven service hotline for a consultation. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much Officer, Officer Shawen.